I'd like to welcome everyone back for the uh, evening worship service here at Valley Town Cemetery Chapel. We are uh, at my home here in Hazel this afternoon broadcasting live because of the uh, virus that's going around. We want to keep everybody safe and at home and we hope that everyone's had a good day today. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to lead, uh, read off our prayer list. We need to remember our nation. We need to remember our government leaders. We need to remember all of those who are infected with this uh, COVID-19 virus. We need to remember our doctors, our nurses, our first responders, such as our police, our EMS, our firefighters, who uh, risk their lives and risk their uh, take the risk of, of catching this virus by being out and helping those in need all of our public servants. We need to remember Brother Jackie Anderson, Ola's son, who uh, had open heart surgery last month. And we need to remember him. Remember Vernell Whitaker. Uh, she had a bad, nasty fall uh, back a couple of months ago. We need to remember her. We need to remember John Whitaker, who is in uh, real bad health. And uh, if you're watching, John, we're praying for you. Remember Philip Crawford, who's had strep throat for the past couple of weeks. And uh, remember him. Remember our church, our members. Remember Beth. Uh, she's getting some better. And we're just praising God for that and hoping that she will continue to get better. And we need to remember the loss. Remember uh, Danny and Kathy Maybury, who was in a bad automobile accident, I guess it was about a month ago, and uh, we need to remember them. And a lady messaged this morning and wanted us to remember her brother and her brother-in-law. And uh, she knows who she is. We hope she's watching again tonight. We want to pray for her brother and her brother-in-law. And remember Valley Town Cemetery Chapel. And uh, remember me as the pastor. If you don't have anybody else to pray for, pray for the pastor. Father, as we come to you this morning, Lord, or this afternoon, Lord, we're just thankful, Lord, for another opportunity to go out through the ways of the Internet, Lord, into people's homes, God. Father, we thank you for this technology, Lord. And Lord, we want to pray for our nation, Lord. God, I pray for this virus, Lord, that the vaccine will soon be made, Lord, that would uh, cure all the people who are infected with this virus, Lord. Lord, pray. we pray for the doctors and nurses and all the people who are out, Lord, risking their lives and risking taking this home to their families, Lord. Be with them, Lord. Give them a special blessing for all they do. Father, I pray for Brother Jackie, Lord, that you'd continue to touch him. God, we're thankful, Lord, that he was able to come to church last Sunday night, Lord. And God, we just pray, Lord, that you keep blessing him. Father, we pray for Sister Vernell, Lord, along with Sister Joan. God, that you would touch both of their uh, bodies, Lord, and and give them a special blessing tonight, Lord. Lord, we pray for Brother Philip, God, that you would uh, continue to touch him, Lord, touch his body. And God, remember our church, God. We just pray, Lord, that uh, it would continue to grow. And Father, we just pray, Lord, that you would send the people that we need Lord, you know we need musicians, God. We need a sound tech, Lord. Father, we just pray, Lord, that you'd send us the people that we need, Lord, uh, to uh, help our church grow. And Father, I just pray, Lord, for uh, 
Beth, Lord, that you continue to touch her, Lord. Lord, touch Danny and Kathy Mayberry, Lord. I pray, God, most of all, Lord, that you, that their souls would be touched, Lord. God, thank you for working in their life, Lord, giving them another chance, Lord. Father, I just pray, Lord, that uh, both of them, Lord, would, uh, would come to know you as their personal Savior. And Lord, I pray for the lady this morning that asks us to remember her brother and her brother-in-law, Lord. God, you know the need. And Father, I pray, Lord, that thy will would be done in both of those lives, Lord. Father, we just thank you again for uh, the opportunity to be going out into people's homes tonight, Father. God, take the, the, the service, Lord, use it for thy glory, God. Bless the message tonight, Lord. And we ask these things in thy holy, precious name. Amen. Uh, also like to uh, mention, we forgot this this morning, but we'd like to say happy birthday to Vernell Whitaker, who celebrated her birthday yesterday, and also to Philip Cochran, the pastor of Murphy Church of God. He had a birthday this past week, and uh, we want to wish him a happy birthday. As we turn in our Bibles today, or tonight, we want to go to John chapter 14, starting in verse 1. John chapter 14, beginning in verse 1. And the Word of God says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, you, ye should have know my father also and from henceforth ye know him and have seen him philip saith unto the lord show us the father and it suffereth us and jesus said unto him have i been so long time with you and yet hast thou not known me philip he that has seen me has seen the father and hast sayest thou then, Show us the Father. Believest thou not that I am the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me, I am the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if ye ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now let's look down at verse 23 and 24. And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him. He will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me keepeth not my sayings, and the word which is ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. The key right here is in verse 6. And Jesus saith unto him, 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the subject I want to talk on tonight is are we true to God? Are we true to God? Think about that for a minute. Everything that we say, everything that cometh out of these lips should be to uplift our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who went to the cross and died for our sins. The first thing we should do when we wake up in the morning is say, Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Father, thank you for giving me another day to live. Father, thank you that I'm still able to breathe life into these lungs, Lord. So many times, so many times, we fail to be true to God by our actions, by the words that come out of our mouth, and by things that we do. I can show you places, I can show you a church right now in this area <coughs> where the pastor is living with a woman. I can show you churches that are not teaching out of the Word of God, the true Word of God. I believe that the King James Version was translated by the men of King, of King James out of the Hebrew language. And I believe that this is the closest thing that we have to being the inspired Word of God. Now you take these other translations, they've not, they're not the Word, the, the, the true Word of God because men has changed the words in them and left verses out and gave the verses different meanings. And that's not the true Word of God. The true Word of God is how God intended for us to read the Word of God. And the only way we can read the true Word of God is get in the King James Version Bible. If you're going to a church that, that teaches out of the NIV or the NSV or uh, any of these other translations, you need to get out of that church. You need to get in a church that preaches and teaches the true Word of God, which is the King James Version. The devil has so many people deceived in this day and time that they think they're doing right when they're not even in the true word of God. The devil has people deceived that think that they're on their way to heaven. They've not truly been saved. For example, I can show you a church where the, uh, and I know this for a fact because I've had dealings with a man, the superintendent of the church cannot talk to you for five minutes without using God's name in vain. And his wife is just as bad. But yet, they're up serving the Lord, trying to serve the Lord, and it's all in vain because they're not true to God. If a person is true to God, he's not going to use God's name in vain as he talks throughout the week. A true, a person that's true to God is not going to have a, a, a filthy joke on his mind to tell you on the job or if he meets you out in town, he's not going to have that uh, dirty joke on his mind, that filthy joke, the filthy lucre. He's going to have God. He's going to be speaking of God of Jesus and you know we when we meet people on the street and we meet people in the post office or wherever we might go the grocery store we ought to have a smile on our face and we ought to be talking about Jesus I tell you what friends I said it this morning I said it last week we're in the very last days here on this earth 
And it is time to get serious about God. It is time now to be true to God like we've never been true before. We're going to fail the very best we can do. We're going to fail. We're going to fall short. And we're going to sin. But that's where we repent daily. We repent daily. God's going to forgive us. God's for, going to forget those sins that we've repented of. But we need to serve God 24-7. Not just on Sunday mornings while we're in the church house. or Not just while we're on our way to church or on our way back to church. We need to serve God 24-7. That's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We have to be true to God in order to make it into heaven. I know this message has been short, but uh, this is what God gave me tonight for this uh, uh, broadcast. And uh, we hope that the scriptures I've read has spoke to you. And I just pray that God would use you for his glory. I pray that God would uh, bless you in your walk with him. And I pray that your walk with God is on the straight and narrow way. And... Uh, if you have a uh, prior request you would like to send us, just uh, uh, put it on the down in the comments, and we will take that prior request and be praying for you. And uh, we would like for you to come join us at Valley Town Cemetery Chapel once we're able to get back into the building. Well, we'd love to have you. We have some uh, special events planned for uh, April. Uh, on the uh, April the 5th, if the good Lord's willing, and we're back in the church, we're going to have past, or, uh, evangelist Rob Lowe from Bryson City bringing the message. Him and his wife, AJ, will be singing that morning. And we'd like for you to come out and hear, Brother Rob. And uh, then on Easter Sunday, the following Sunday, we'll be having sunrise s services beginning at 7 p.m. And uh, that'll go until probably around 8.30 or so. And then we'll go up to Hardy's, eat breakfast, and then come back to the chapel, the church, and uh, have our Sunday school and our morning worship. And we're going to have communion that day. And uh, we'd like for you to come out and be with us. Now on Easter Sunday, we will not have Sunday night uh, uh, services that way. All the members can be with their families on Easter. And, uh, and uh, we just hope and pray that everyone has a great, great Easter this year. Then on May the 9th, that will be our first singing of 20, or, uh, uh, 2020, as we uh, will have the great uh, the Smoky Mountain Gospel Singers. And uh, I tell you what, these ladies will be sure to bless your heart. I know all three of these ladies personally, and I highly recommend them to come to your church and... Uh, minister through song and uh, Norma tells me that sometimes that brother uh, 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 Sonny Rickard helps him sing and I hope he's able to come that night uh, I really think a lot of brother S S S S S Sonny as he used to sing with the Rollins Creek Baptist Church singers and uh, Come out and be with us. Also, being with us that night will be the Hodgett brothers from over here in uh, uh, the Hiawassee area, Hazel, Hiawassee area. And uh, they're uh, a set of twins. They're up in their, their 70s and still singing for the Lord. 
I remember when I was just a little boy, they used to come up to Beaver Creek and and sing up there, and I really enjoy listening to the Hoggett Brothers. And uh, we will have other events throughout the summer months, hopefully, and prayerfully, and we want you to come and take part in uh, Valley Town Cemetery Chapel. If you're not going to a church, we invite you to come out and be with us. And uh, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. And until next Sunday morning, may God bless each and every one of you. Let's close out with prayer. Father, as we come to you tonight, Lord, we're just so thankful, Lord, that you've led us in uh, this message, Lord. And we just pray, Lord, that it's beneficial to someone out there tonight, Lord, that's listening. Father, I pray, Lord, that you would have your way as we try to do these internet uh, online s s services, Lord, until we can get back in the church building and uh, be with our church family. Father, we pray that you'd bless the lost and uh, heal the sick, Lord. Lord, save the lost and just be with each and one of, one of our church members, Lord, as we're not able to be in church tonight. But Father, we uh, we thank you and we praise you for all that you do. For it's in Jesus' name we humbly ask. Amen.